Chevrolet and your Super Chevy dealers proudly present Paradise, Louisiana with Gary Responi and Don Dubuque. Paradise, Louisiana, powered by Chevrolet, would also like to thank these sponsors. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Aerial Access, the leader in aerial work process, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Chain, Cracker Barrel Convenience Store, we have more than you expect. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana, Farm Bureau Insurance, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, Area Wholesale Tire Company with tire programs for tire dealers. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Powered by your Super Chevy dealer, I'm Gary Rosponi. Jason Acock. And I'm Don Dubuque. Welcome to fall, guys. It finally got here. I've been waiting. Does it feel years. like it? Yeah, I just come <laughs> on hunting season. Come on you know, deer season. Come on big duck season. I'm ready. You ready? That's right. I'm ready. I've been ready yeah. since February. Yeah. You, you've got some great things coming up in Bayou Bucks magazine, too. We're going to talk about that later, I'm sure. Don, you just loaded up with just stuff to you had a, a great week. Yeah, I made a little uh, blast and cast uh, with Ryan Lambert. We'll show you that down in Plaquemines Parish. Teal season, you know, we talked about it last week. You had some really good hunts and, and some better hunts in southwest Louisiana and also in central Louisiana. The guys in the eastern part had a real rough opening, but it got better, and it's going to get better as we head into the last weekend this week. Yeah, and the same thing with me. I, we covered hunting and fishing day in Baton Rouge, thanks to Dave Marlin and uh, Doug Grazier. We got a little segment from the Baton Rouge at Waddell, and uh, I went to Woodworth. I got to say that right. I've been saying Woodworth, and they corrected me over there in Alexandria. Let me tell you what, <laughs> 1,900 people walked through, counted. I don't know how many people got around the counter, but there were 1,900 people counted at Woodworth. Tremendous day. What they did from the hatchery, we had 400 and something, almost 500 people around the pond fishing at the hatchery there. So it, it was just amazing. It was amazing. And, uh, and while we're talking about teal hunting, I want to tell you something. Honey Break Lodge, right now, one of the best seasons they had going. And they still got openings. And anybody watching this on Wednesday or Thursday, and you want to make a teal hunt, you get in touch with them. Honeybreak.com. Honeybreak.com. Just remember that. And, uh, I'm going to tell you what, Jason, what do you got for us today? Well, that honey break place has got some stud bucks running around the <laughs> property, too. So yeah. that's what I'm after. I don't know a thing about the teal. i got to pick my poison, and that's a deer. Very good deer. Well, we're lucky to have him in here this time of the year because in a couple more weeks and it gets going, he's going to be out in the woods and be hard that's to right. find. But we are looking forward to talking to Scott Durham, who heads up our Wildlife and Fisheries Deer Study uh, program because they went out and did some assessments from Hurricane Isaac, and I know you're going to be interested along with a lot of other deer hunters to find out what, what they discovered. Absolutely. It's always good hearing from Scott. All right. So we got a full show. We're going to talk about a little fishing, get you out there after some saltwater and freshwater fishing. It's all coming up right here on Paradise, Louisiana. Now that's what I call a test drive. Silverado, the most dependable, longest lasting, full size pickups on the road. So what do you think? I'll take it. It's Chevy Truck Month. Now during Chevy Truck Month, get 0% APR financing for 60 months or qualified buyers can trade up to get the 2012 Chevy Silverado Custom Sport with a total value of $8,000. Hurry in before they're all gone watching Paradise, Louisiana. Mr. Gay, we're going to miss the morning bite. If you want food and snacks, we better hurry up. i tell you what, you pump the gas, I'll get the food. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. Aerial Access Equipment has been serving Louisiana, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and Southeast Texas since 1998. 
Our trained sales staff has the expertise necessary to ensure our customers get the right piece of equipment for the job at competitive rental rates. Need help with choosing the right machine for the job? We'll come to your job site and recommend the right machine to meet your needs. Remember, quality, reliability, safety. Aerial Access Equipment, your aerial work platform and forklift specialist. Hello, I'm David Moreland out here at Hunting and Fishing Day, the great outdoor festival that we hold every year. It's a great time out here, a lot of activities for the kids, a lot of things to do, hands-on activities, hunting and fishing, casting, shooting BB guns, shooting bows and arrows, touching alligators, touching turtles, letting a snake wrap around your arm, watching the birds, the hawks, the owls, even, they even have buzzers out here. So uh, y'all come on out and enjoy it, a lot of things to do and see. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Wildlife Hospital of Louisiana. Um, it's a part of the clinics at the veterinary school. It's not for profit. We run based solely on donations, and um, I'm here with the Raptor Rehabilitation Unit. Basically, we have five residents that stay with us because they couldn't be released years ago. We work with them so they'll be able to fist with us and uh, we bring them out for educational stuff so that we can teach kids about wildlife. We teach people as much as we can, uh, answer any questions that they have. We get birds in almost daily uh, for rehabilitation uh, with the hospital. We make sure that they're able to fly again, make sure they're able to hunt, and um, if they're able to be released, we release them. here at National Hunting and Fishing Day, the outdoor festival put on by Wildlife and Fisheries held in Baton Rouge at the Waddell Track. I'm talking today with my good friend Andre LaFosse who works with Wildlife and Fisheries with the Fish Division. Andre, what do you have going on out here? Well, Dave, today we got a fishing contest uh, designed for the younger folks from, you know, 1 to 12. But everybody's welcome to come fish. It's a, you know, we supply the bait and some poles and uh, it's a good chance to come out, you know, if, uh, Maybe somebody's parents are so busy they really can't get out and fish. This is a good day. We've got people helping. Um, you know, we got free free bait. Uh, it's all donated, and uh, it's it's a good time. Good it's, good time to get your kids out, particularly if they've never fished. Inter yeah. Introduce them to fishing and, yes. and let them get the pole in their hands. That's right. Show them how to tie knots. You know. Now the most important question. Yes, sir. Are the fish biting? They're doing okay today. Uh, I've had worse years than this, but uh, <laughs> that can be a problem. It with, can with be a problem. Curve. They get yeah, they get frustrated when, it, but they're biting pretty good today. Watching Paradise. 
sure does Louisiana. <laughs> What's your favorite thing out here? Bows and arrows and guns. Cool. What's your favorite thing? Um, the guns and fishing. Pretty much like everything. Really like it all. Tried. Well, we've been out here all day at Hunting and Fishing Day, the outdoor festival that's put on by Wildlife and Fisheries here at the Waddell Track in Baton Rouge. Uh, we've had a lot of fun, big turnout, a lot of activities, a lot of kids have, have been out today. Now it's time to go watch the LSU Tigers play football. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana, sponsored by your Super Chevy dealers. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Benny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. Of all the tools in your house, this could easily be the most dangerous, but it doesn't have to be. At Dimco, we can't stress this enough. Just keep it, and you, far away from power lines. Dimco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome to another Honey Break experience. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana, followed by your Super Chevy dealers. Blake Swallow, I've been waiting a long time, I, you know, to come over here since last year. Uh, I heard a report this morning. This is the ninth day, by the way, uh, of the teal season 2012. And I heard y'all talking this morning. Uh, 
Uh, so far, y'all got 189 hunters that hunted break? We've had 187 hunters that hunted break that have all killed limits. We have not had a hunter yet that has not killed a limit you got to correct me for two people. That's okay. But it's all right. We, that's it's right. We don't want to be accurate. We want to be we right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so here this morning, we got one on this bank. Y'all always move around. Y'all got so many acres to hunt. It's just unbelievable. But now, we sitting over here on a on a ditch bank, you call it, or a slough bank. Well, we have around 40,000 acres we can hunt, 30,000 acres of agriculture, and about 10,000 acres of WRP. This morning we're hunting on a buy that we call Big Buy, and the birds have been using this to water during the day. They've been feeding in the fields early and feeding in the fields late, but they come to the water during the day to sit, and we've just been moving around this buy. This buy is about three and a half miles long. It runs east and west through the farm, and we just move around on it every day. and go to a different spot, move three or 400 yards. This morning we've got five groups hunting. We've got uh, Terry Denneman with Mojo's group here with us this morning. We've got Gary and we have our own crews. You see what kind of pressure put on me? Nobody's left without a limit. I heard Drew Keith talk this morning. He said, oh, it took us to 7.30 to get a limit yesterday. He was complaining. That's right, with six hunters. Shame on y'all. That's right. Stay tuned. You're getting ready to watch it and maybe get to see a couple shots of Bryce. That boy can hunt. Playing everywhere. It's only it's only ten minutes in the shooting time. People don't like the mosquitoes, you know, they wouldn't like the heat. But there's so many different terrains to hunt. You know, we didn't hunt in rice fields, we didn't hunt in swamp. Now we're hunting on a ditch bank or a bio bank. It's, no matter where you go, you see them when they're flying and the people killing them in the marsh. That's what makes tear holes so far. And you get your dog ready. If you don't have no alligators, <laughs> it, it, it just gets you ready and pumped up for the hunt season. in the ditch, honey break stop. Steve and Gary this morning, they're going by. Couldn't mess it up. My third feet of <laughs> what we came for. Empty chamber, we're done. This is what it's all about right here. Mr. Allred got his son here, keeps him here, Brian. That's the ready to do. Bryce, what a great trip. You made the trip just watching you hunt. You and the dogs, that's what it's all about with me, so I appreciate it. Richard, we didn't get your camera over, but you did it's a good job. Right. Let us know they're coming from your way. Uh, Mike, we go back and talk about Orlando. You've been you've been having 
three or four good days here, huh? Been here four days. Blake limited me out every single time. You, you don't get better in early season teal yeah, in Louisiana. Yeah, I say honey break. I just don't say Blake. <laughs> <laughs> honey <laughs> break. <laughs> honey break with Blake. There you go. Hunting the break with Blake. Hunting the break with Blake. I'm talking about hunting the break with Blake. Uh, good friend, few years, and I, I appreciate what you do. Uh, let's, let's talk about the big duck season real quick. You got the big duck season coming up in a month or so. Tell me, what's your prediction? Our, what you our predictions from what the uh, U.S. Waterfowl Service, the survey is showing is we're going to have a, a wonderful. Our habitat is ready to go. We've got about 4,000 acres of water being pumped right now over vegetation, over native vegetation, and also over crops. We're going to start closing our gates this week to catch the water on the farm. Um, you know, the lack of water between here and Canada is definitely going to be a factor for us, and we're looking forward to a very strong season. We have six full-time guides, and then we have six guides that help us out on the part-time. So we're, we're pretty much booked right now on the full-time stuff, but as far as if somebody, somebody wants to come in for a day hunt or even a weekend package, we can put them with a good guide that's been here on this farm for years that will put them on the birds. Good deal. You watching Paradise, Louisiana, probably by the Super Chevy dealers. We got this money here. This ain't 7:30 yet. Just like, <laughs> just like Drew said, got to wait till 7:30. But we've been having these. I'm sorry you didn't get to see the early shots, the right at shooting time. They were just everywhere. So, this is a hunting break experience. Can't beat it. These engines run for thousands of hours to prove. With 20% more cleaning agents than before, Shell nitrogen enriched gasoline. Oh, the gasoline protects your engine better! Awkward. Try new Shell nitrogen enriched gasolines. No other gasoline protects your engine better. Or visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading hunting or fishing. When did insurance companies start emailing handshakes? Why is a billboard the only place you see your agent's face? Who decided you can't have good rates and good coverage? If you're questioning your insurance options, get real answers from a real person with a Farm Bureau Confidential Insurance Review. It's simple, quick, and tailored just for you. Call today. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service, real people. We build tires, but not like anybody else. We built our tires for people, people, with places to go and reasons to get there. Like get up to $75 back on four qualifying Cooper tires during our Take the Money and Ride event. Get your rebate form and complete terms and conditions at a participating Cooper Tire dealer or coopertirerebates.com. Life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. And welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And if you're thinking about deer hunting, which if you're a deer hunter, it's got to be on your mind this time of the year. Our guest host this week is Jason Acock of Bayou Bucks. And Jason, I know it's on your mind. What are we going to find coming up in Bayou Bucks this week? In this week, uh, well, we're working on our October issue right now. It's uh, jam-packed. We just went to 54 pages. And growing a magazine, is uh, it's been a challenge. But we've learned a lot over the last 14 months. And continually growing. We try to bring you the biggest, best deer hunting articles and deer hunting stories every year, every month, so that's what we're working on. Well, people would say, Jason, you got to be crazy going into the print business, but uh, actually you have gone into it in a very unique way. It's not just print, is it? No, we try to cover all mediums. We started with the DVDs, which led to the website, which led to the print publication. Uh, the way we circulate the print publication is unique in itself in that we direct mail it to licensed deer hunters. And we also allow subscriptions. People can buy subscriptions online. And um, I guess, uh, you know, the fact that you cut your teeth deer hunting is not a, a detracting from your publication and your, and your videos. I mean, that helps a lot. There are people out there making videos and writing that don't know anything about deer hunting. But in your case, it's just the opposite. It was the deer hunter that drove you into the business. Absolutely. It's all of our passion that's involved with the publication. You uh, know, and, and I'm watching, you know, reading his magazine and some of the guys I've been knowing deer hunters all my life, you got Mr. Warren Womack, you know, I've heard his stories. I see before we had video cameras, you know, he would have those, like he'd, mm -hmm. he'd put on his individual pictures and they jumped up and he was doing PowerPoint presentations of his kills when we first started with this video and it's, 
and his, his son Kelly also helped me. But his articles are so detailed and, and look like he's telling a story. I've worked with him in construction jobs, and we would ride together, and he would tell a story about his hunting weekend, and you almost feel like he was there. Absolutely, and, he uh, does. And a lot of your writers are that way, and especially the, the everyday, the weekend warriors. That's what I like about you. And you got another photo or video contest coming back up. Tell us a little bit about this contest. Well, the video contest was, uh, the idea was spawned because it takes so much resources, and y'all know that when it comes to going out and filming deer footage, it's a little bit different than fishing footage because in Louisiana, it's tough, and you're not always successful. You might go out for 10 days and not see a deer. And for the first two Bayou Bucks DVDs, it was myself and one other guy that did all the filming, and it pretty much occupied our entire season. Well, it got to the point to where we had to make a decision either quit producing the DVDs and focus on something else or figure out a way to keep the footage rolling in. And we launched the contest. Basically the contest is we accept footage from guys all around the state of Louisiana. Uh, the difference between today and four years ago was that the technology didn't exist four years ago for guys to go out and film their own footage. Uh, nowadays everybody has, you can buy an HD camera for $400 and the guys have the stuff. So we said we'll put some prizes on the line, we'll create five, six different categories that guys can win in, send your footage to us, we'll edit it down professionally, you don't have to edit it, we'll package it into the DVD, and if you don't win in the prize, one of the prize categories, at least you get to be featured on the next Bayou Bucks 3 DVD. Uh, great deal, I enjoyed the deal the Don. Uh, you know, we're we talking about fishing, huh? But do you ever get to do a little fishing? I see in your magazine you got marina dealers and boat dealers. What, what, tell me, do you ever do any fishing at all during my, hunting season at all? Never, all never during hunting season. You, like I said, I had to pick my poison. So, uh, you know, I'm scared to touch turkey. I'm scared to touch a duck because I know I'm probably get addicted to that too. So I focus exclusively on deer. Now, I will do a little sockeye fishing in May and June in Henderson. But... So uh, if you would, uh, Jason, tell us how can we find out about all the Bayou Bucks mediums? You can go to BayouBucks.com, or you can also go to BayouBucks.com slash contest to get specific information about our filming contest. On BayouBucks.com, you'll see information about our magazine, our DVDs, the contest. We also do a weekly podcast. You, miss, you mentioned Mr. Warren Womack. We bring him on all the time. We do a 30-minute podcast where we talk hunting, hunting strategy, hunting stories. And that man right there, you go back in our archives and dig up some of our interviews with Mr. Warren Womack, and I promise you, if you're new to deer hunting, you'll take 10 to 15 years off your learning curve <laughs> by listening to some of his, the way that that man hunts. All right, it's there. Bayoubucks.com. When we come back, uh, Jason, we're going to bring in Scott Durham, who heads up our Wildlife and Fisheries Deer Program, and find out about some of the impacts of Hurricane Isaac and what they found and what it may lead to. Stay tuned. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Now that's what I call a test run. Silverado, the most dependable, longest lasting, full size pickups on the road. So what do you think? I'll take it. It's Chevy Truck Month. Now during Chevy Truck Month, get 0% APR financing for 60 months or qualified buyers can trade up to get the 2012 Chevy Silverado Custom Sport with a total value of $8,000. Hurry in before they're all gone. The 2012 Louisiana Saltwater Series is the state's premier saltwater tournament. Hosted by the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, this is a catch, tag, and release tournament. There are six qualifying events held across the state's coast, plus a championship. Entry fee is $200 for each two-man team, plus there is a youth division of two anglers under 16 per team. This is a 100% payout plus prize tournament. For details and to register, visit lasaltwaterseries.com. Introducing Powerade Ion 4, complete with four electrolytes lost in sweat. Powerade Ion 4, the complete sports drink. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. You know, some of the deer season is already underway in Louisiana, and they're getting ready to open along the coast. And the question everybody has right now is, 
what effects did Hurricane Isaac have on the coastal deer population? Here to give us some answers is Scott Durham, who heads up our deer program with the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. Thanks for coming by, Scott. We sure thing, Don. You. Glad to be here. If you would, tell us what factors are you looking for to make any determinations as far as what impacts might have been made, and if, in fact, we will have to make any adjustments to seasons. Well, the first thing is just identifying the areas of, most, of greatest concern. Uh, primarily, we're talking about the Marpaw Lake Basin, uh, and Plaquemines and St. Bernard Parishes. Those are the areas that we've identified that have the, the most impact. So after we identify the areas that, that, that are of concern, we're, we're looking at direct mortality events, uh, fawns, adults, um, and habitat issues. How bad was the habitat degraded? Um, how are those deer going to fare beyond this event? What are the secondary impacts as far as stress uh, things like hemorrhagic disease, because all these deer that were, were impacted in this deep water put through the mill and stress. So um, not only did they suffer some direct mortality, it's, it's, it's on beyond this. And, and how is that habitat going to take care of them after this? And what is the process you use to acquire that data? Is it basically you, Scott, walks out there in the swamp and looks around? Well, what we what we tried to do this time around, as you know, we, we keep responding to uh, events like this on a regular basis the last few years. Uh, we typically make a flight or two aerial in our plane. Uh, we've done a lot of boat surveys, boat patrols, our biological staff, and some, some footwork. Um, but what we've done this year is also uh, make an effort to, to interview hunters, landowners, uh, DMAP cooperators, and also our agents, our enforcement agents are out there, you know, a, a lot. And so, yeah, just me and a handful of biologists can only do so much. So we basically just, just a compilation of all that information and data together um, to make an assessment. So you haven't had a lot of time yet, but so far, what has your research indicated? Well, it's, this was a significant event. The water, uh, and the Marpaw area probably is as deep as it's ever been. Uh, look five to six feet above, above normal around that entire basin. Um, it looks like we suffered a major fawn mortality event. You gotta remember that those are late breeding areas. Those fawns were only two to six weeks old at the time of this, this flood. They are not strong. They are not strong swimmers right then. So um, severe fawn mortality in those areas, Plaquemines, St. Bernard, where that deep water occurred, as well as some adult mortality. Not as much, um, but, but some. It, you know, the adults are able to, uh, to survive a lot. They're strong. And some of the swamp, actually Floton, as y'all are familiar with, will actually kind of go up with the water. And you know, deer will just, just hang on, get up in a treetop, in a bush, uh, on a log, and, and they're very resilient. But the fawns are, are really took it, we think. How long was the sustained high water, Scott? Uh, did it last? In the lake, a good four days mm -hmm. around the lake, um, as far as we can tell. It was, it was high. I mean, even into our assessment, uh, even into last week, it was still high. The water's has remained a foot or so above normal. Um, so uh, in St. Bernard and Plaquemines, I, I heard of a storm surge in lower Plaquemines of up to 14 feet. And in our reconnaissance on the levee, I mean, you could see where the water I'm talking about the Mississippi River levee. The, le the water really got this far from the top of that. So very devastating um, you know, event as far as uh, water depth. Right, but this is not y'all's first episode dealing with a sudden influx of water. Y'all had to open up the Morganza locks last year about this time. That's right. After the hunting pamphlets had been printed and kind of had to make a last minute dis decision on the seasons. Did y'all learn anything from that? Yeah, yeah, I mean this, this yeah, I mean, as, as I say, we, you know, the BP oil spill was another event, and um, we keep having to kind of respond to these things, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's sort of an emergency situation, and, uh, but the, the, the floodway, a large part of the floodway is, is a more productive habitat. You know, it, uh, even though the water was up a long time, we were pretty confident that those areas would, would recover pretty quickly. Um, when you get into the, to the cypress tupelo swamps, the deep swamps, the marsh, the scrub shrub, we consider that more of a, a lower deer density, uh, lower productivity. 
and um, maybe just a little more concern about indirect effects in this area. But yeah, it takes all hands on deck to get out there as quick as possible. You know, you have to wait for the water to go down. You, you don't want to get into people's uh, um, in people's way. You know, they're they're st they're fighting for their homes and their property. Sure. So we we have to let all of that kind of kind of diffuse a little bit before we go you know getting in the middle of that. Well to kind of wrap up where we're headed with this when if any regulation changes or season dates are to come down when will the public be informed of that? We will make a, a presentation to our commission I believe on October the 4th that's the first Thursday uh, we will have a, a presentation then and a set of recommendations and, and that will be the day that it'll be made public. And then that will be out on TV radio yes, website sir. for do, the department probably yes, a good sir. place we'll to do find press it. releases and um, you know, people can call me, uh, call our district offices, and if they have any further questions, but yes. Please keep us up to date. Will do. And thanks for the info. Yes, sir. We'll be right back with more on Paradise, Louisiana. watching Paradise, Louisiana. Ask me about my tempur Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. tempur owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. tempur the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. Products makes it easy to boil right every time. Can't get enough. Grab a bag. There's nothing to mix. Just pour and boil. Aw, oh, now you're cooking. Crawfish, crab, or shrimp. With Louisiana fish fry products, you got boiling down easy. Oh, that's the way I like it. Oh. Hey, welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And then Hunting and Fishing Day, our 10th anniversary show. And by the way, our first show was started at Wildlife and Fisheries Wildlife Center uh, on Flannery Road. And so now, in the last few four or five years, we've been going to, to Woodworth. And by the way, Don, this is amazing, the people they bring in. Uh, I got some interviews with some of the guys that first started 19 years ago over there. And he's had more volunteers than he had kids and people there. But... It's, it's just unbelievable to see the amount of people come through there and the programs they got. They had something new. Every year I've been, they had something new, but one of the most popular things today was actually a frog hunt. They had a big old tent set up. It was camouflaged. It was dark inside. The kids got to put on, on a, a headlights and go in there and did it. They have an a air rifle safari. It, it, it's just amazing. And then the alligator cleaning. Last year they couldn't catch alligator. Remember all the heat and yeah. it was dry and they're having trouble getting alligators. They had two alligators they were going to bring in there, but right at the last minute, they had one 11 foot 4 inches to see the kids watch them skin this alligator and do it. You might not want to see it. I'm going to warn the people some of the first thoughts of them skinning this alligator. I don't know whether we're going to use it or not, but you'll see it. But to see the different things that they had at Waddell, it was just heartwarming to see that many people concerned about wildlife. And we had some interviews with some of the people there, so without further ado, Let's go and look at Woodworth, just south of Alexandria. Hunting and Fishing Day, National Hunting and Fishing Day, by the way. Well, it got started basically because there was one up in Natchitoches, and then we decided to bring it here. 
And uh, so, you know, so I, it was basically it was a one man show. I got all kind of volunteers ready to go and probably had about 50 to 75 volunteers and about 30 kids. That, that was it back then. We, we still had fun. We were trying to get all the kids, uh, trying to get them involved in fishing and hunting and just to try to see, you know, what fishing and hunting was like. And, uh, you know, try, try to get their parents, you know, to come spend, spend the day with them. And, that, and I, I feel like we've done that. My name's Ethan Roberts. I'm from Louisiana. <laughs> I'm from the Pineville Park. I see Joanne Marvinius. Bradley Gio from Louisiana. And Asha Nozo from the county. Eric Radstell from Alexandria. Icy from Pineville. Cole Ramillion. Luke Giller from Dreffron, Louisiana. Blaze Cantu. Shada Nicole Marion. Hogan Johnson from Colfax, Louisiana. Sit there, but that's your favorite bait. <laughs> what are the little girl doing with hands all muddy? Hey, look, right over here. Lead it. Yeah. Yeah. Weaver. Yeah. How old are you? Four. What you caught that fish on? What kind of bait? It's a it's a shark. It's a shark. Yeah. What, what what you caught? What kind of bait you caught him on? A big worm. A big worm. Oh yeah, big worm. I'm telling you. Good. I got it. I got it. I mean, you, got, you got a real film in there. Tell me your name. Uh, Ethan. Lane Gallery. I'm from Dry Problem. Toby and I'm from Oakdale. Dylan Gill from Ball, Louisiana. Paul Whitehead, I'm biologist supervisor for wildlife and fisheries, and uh, just wanted to welcome everybody to hunting and fishing day. Byron Camac, I'm with the enforcement division, Rapids Parish Agent. In the last four or five years, it's been a, a real coordinated effort. Local business people, uh, media people, <coughs> from the hatchery volunteers, our hunter ed volunteers, and, and obviously it's, it's grown to what we hit, we hit over 2,000 a couple of years ago or so, and we'll hit 2,000 today, I'm sure. But a lot of donations by the, by the businesses. There's no cost in here, nothing, nothing cost. Everything's free, they get free hamburgers, free t-shirts, uh, and the attractions, we've got some very imaginative employees and volunteers. Darren, I'm from Alexandria, Louisiana. Hey, Ailey, Grace Bradley. Charity Ailey's Destiny Thomas, and I'm from, from Alexandria, Louisiana. We were real, real happy with the level of participation. We, we love to introduce kids to fishing any way we can. You know, sometimes kids aren't in a, in a family situation where they're, they're exposed to that kind of thing. So we like to get those kids out here and show them how to fish and give them that opportunity to catch their first fish in some cases. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana, powered by your Super Chevy dealer. Hey, this is what it's all about. All over the state right now, wildlife and fishers are doing a great job bringing, and it's paying off. Don Dubuque said this morning, I was listening to the, the surveys, even hunting is up around the, around the country at 6%. You believe that? It's turn, turn the corner, thanks to y'all. Stay tuned, you can see more of Paradise, Louisiana.
Mr. Gay, we're gonna miss the morning bite. If you want food and snacks, we better hurry up. I'll tell you what, you pump the gas, I'll get the food. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. I'm Terry Denman, Mojo Outdoors, and you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Denny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Beef Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. And hey, welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And Jason, for the deer hunter, what's coming up? Well, if you were, weren't one of the fortunate ones that braved the heat of mosquitoes on September 15th for the area openers in uh, three and eight, areas one, two, four, five, and six open up October 1st, of course. Now remember area six is, uh, you can't shoot does until October 15th. But we got that going on for all the deer hunters, but also on October 17th, the South Louisiana QDMA gun bash is going on. Uh, Folks, you definitely don't want to miss that. If you've never been to a QDMA event where they give away guns like they do, you need to make sure you get your tickets. Show up. First of all, you're supporting a good cause. Second of all, you got a real good shot of walking away with a gun. Again, that's October 17th. Uh, you need to contact Bill Shockey. His number is 225-291-7500. The 4-H mini farm, too, at LSU is where it's going to be held. Right, so right. 4-H mini farms. Well, you know, we're talking about fishing and everything. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, the second annual... Anglers for Autism, they're going on right now. Dry Run's Landing down in, uh, in Stephenville. It'll be there. It'll be the second annual uh, tournament. It's going to be, uh, I think it's, it's uh, <laughs> excuse me, September 29th. That's a Saturday, September 29th. They still got tickets available. You can still get on. If you're seeing this on Wednesday and Thursday, you just need to call Mooney Bacheron or, or Key Tipito, and their numbers will be on the screen. So. All right, and also don't forget about the Wild Game Seafood and Barbecue Cook-Off in Slidell. I'm going to be out there at Fritchie Park from 11 to 3. Come on by and pay one price and get to sample all the great cooking out there. That's a good deal. That's it. That's a little event of cattle and the news. And when we come back, we got the Bayou Blue Garcia and Berkeley Fishing with us. Now that's what I call a test run. Silverado, the most dependable, longest lasting, full size pickups on the road. So what do you think? I'll take it. It's Chevy Truck Month. Now during Chevy Truck Month, get 0% APR financing for 60 months or qualified buyers can trade up to get the 2012 Chevy Silverado Custom Sport with a total value of $8,000. Hurry in before they're all gone. We build tires, but not like anybody else. We build our tires for people, people, with places to go and reasons to get there. Like get up to $75 back on four qualifying Cooper tires during our Take the Money and Ride event. Get your rebate form and complete terms and conditions at a participating Cooper Tire dealer or coopertirerebates.com. Life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. When did insurance companies start emailing handshakes? Why is a billboard the only place you see your agent's face? 
Who decided you can't have good rates and good coverage? If you're questioning your insurance options, get real answers from a real person with a Farm Bureau Confidential Insurance Review. It's simple, quick, and tailored just for you. Call today. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service. Real people. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. It's time for our Berkeley Abu Garcia fishing report. Gary, what you got on the freshwater scene? Let's freshwater start scene right now. We're going up north up here. We got great reports on the Red River. I crossed over the Red River, by the way, in, in Pondville, and I'm telling you what, the water is beautiful. They're fishing the rocks, they're fishing crankbaits, and this and that. Lake Lat, all them are Lotto. Lotto, right now, I talked to. Uh, uh, Mr. Blake Swallow, over there, one of the guides over there on, on Lotto, he's saying right now the sackle bite is starting to get better every day as soon as we get some cool weather. Every time they have a cool snap, these guys are out there in, in numbers catching sackle. Uh, I talked to Mike Clark. Uh, I talked to some of his buddies. They're sending pictures. They catch them on Lake Lat. They're fishing frog. They're fishing the fish frog. Now they call it a doodad. No cream changing them around. Uh, they're fishing them lily pads. They're fishing top water catching fish and then like I said they're going with crawfish colors Toledo Bend by the way they're crawfish tight baits soft plastic baits they're fishing Toledo Bend I got uh, some people are sending me some pictures over there to catching good fish catching fish to three and four pound average uh, the fish by the way at, at Lake Lat is unbelievable the size of those fish are running they look like they're coming out of a mold they're running about two pounds each uh, in the chapel I spillway again Cranking points all up and down. I'm talking about people catching 50 and 60 fish. Uh, the keeper numbers are starting to get up. I'm going to remind everybody, keep, stay tuned to Paradise, Louisiana. We're going to be walk, talking to wildlife and fisheries people about how we're going to change or if they're going to change that 14-inch limit. Big controversy over there. Uh, we're talking about doing different surveys, and Paradise, Louisiana going to be working close with them and to get the surveys out. So... Uh, but right now, if you want to go catch some fish, sackle or hit and miss, you just got to find them. Cooler the weather, the shallower they get. If it gets hot like that, you can go out deep. Same way with Old River, too, by the way. They catch some sackle and them and bass in Old River. So. Well, the big news saltwater-wise is speckled trout have finally started showing up pretty much all along the coast. That area from Venice uh, working westward still a little sluggish, but the reports are there's plenty of juvenile shrimp into the marshes. You find those shrimp jumping. They've been catching them along the lakeshore, Lake Pontchartrain. Starting to pick some up at the bridges there, and that's not going to be too far behind for those World Series trout. Uh, the marshes in St. Bernard, Biloxi Marsh, there's some trout moving inside there. Uh, Lafitte's still a little bit slow, but that's, it's improving in all the areas as far as speckled trout. Redfish, different story. Redfish are everywhere. The marshes are covered up. Uh, the passes still have the big bulls in them. You get into the interior, you'll catch everything from the undersized 10-inch reds all the way up to those nice slot size, those uh, 16 and 27-inch redfish. Offshore fishing, when the boats have been able to get out, and that's been pretty regular, the tuna bite has been really strong out there. Those yellowfin tuna doing good, picking up a few wahoo. Lemon fish, surprisingly, have not left yet. I got, maybe with this last cold front coming in, they may be getting out of that. Well, you know, I talked to my brother. My brother was in Grand Isle. He fished last Friday and Saturday. Uh, they had great luck hooking them. They had trouble landing them. He tried some new different kind of lines. They were like, going to go back to monofilament to get some stretch. They were following the shrimp book. They didn't have to go way far out. Uh, I know Dow Carpenter, that's where mm -hmm. you and I did. We caught all sure. of them tuna one time. And, uh, and like I said, I had trouble too. I fought one for, what, about 30 minutes, and they never could get that yellowfin tuna up and broke off finally right at the boat. But that, that was the story on the yellowfin, blackfin tuna. Uh, the only trouble with them, if you follow them shrimp boats, you're going to go through a lot of trash fish. You know, there'll be a lot of sharks around, a lot of bonita, and that's the kind of thing. Well, the good news is, too, is Vermillion Bay. I talked to Captain Steve Smith, around in Vermillion. I talked to T. Coon, too, by the way. I, and he didn't call me back and give me a report, but he was starting to go out to Diamond Reef. He says it, it really wouldn't really turn on in the bay for him to start coming back out because he was still fishing them big trout. But I talked to Captain Steve, and the white trout are, you can just name them, but the catching the, the secret catching the trout is fishing slow on the bottom, and you can get your limit in Vermilion Bay and up and down the little coast. 
So thank you, uh, Captain Steve Smith, yeah. and you keep them coming, too. Talking about those white trout, I got good reports of both specks and white trout out west, Lake Prien, Calcasieu area out there, Bayou Lacombe, the mouth there, they were catching some on a small size, but plenty of white trout. And we talked to our buddy over at Delago's Marina over there on Highway 11. He said they're catching them on the south shore, both trout and reds, and plenty of white trout, even catching some off the banks by the rock. So if you're interested in getting in on some of that, you might want to check him out yeah. over at Delago's. He'll point you in the right direction. You know, before, before we get out of here, we got to talk about some sad news. But I want to tell you, thank you, Jason. Thank you for coming, and mm -hmm. uh, and I won't make you a promise. I, I'll bring you a little tuna. What kind's your favorite fish? I like tuna. You like tuna? tuna? Lemon okay. fish. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you some tuna. You know, I already cut. I up prefer sockeye actually. And I, I like it. Well, <laughs> well, come on, make up your mind. I asked you for <laughs> one. Now, but but I want some good back strap. You know, when it come back, I don't get to deer hunt too much, you know, and I'm going to be counting on you, by the way. We're going to be doing, we're hand in hand during the season. If you got some news, uh, we're going to sort of partner in with Bayou Bucks, and we're going to get the word out all over anything you need to do. And uh, we hope to get some of that footage mm -hmm. and some of your contest winners. Hey, we, get, we got some footage now, Gary. We're good. Got, got some real good footage. And we got I'm gonna give you some footage of me and that backstrap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be looking forward to that. Gary, uh, uh, you young hog hunt. I know you want to throw a shout out to him. We got well, get a little young uh, Bra Mr. Brandon Boyd, uh, the young guy that did that. I guess we call it the uh, physical challenge ha hunt with us at the uh, on the, the private land up in the Ville Platte. Uh, he's been going through a lot of structure, you know, with his blood, blood disorder and everything. He just had a liver transplant. He's at the hospital in Houston right now, the Methodist Hospital. And by the way, Brandon, I just want to shout out, man. You're the toughest guy I know. Good luck. Keep up the good work and uh, hope you get well. And everybody in Paradise, Louisiana is pulling for you. And on a sad note, Don. Yeah, a very sad note. A, a, a familiar figure on this program, Rad Trasher, director of the CCA Star Tournament. Uh, our condolences go out to Red and his family for the passing of his dad on the Washita River. Uh, at this time, we're not quite, quite sure what happened, but uh, the the thing is, he did he he went out doing what the man loved. He was fishing. So, uh, Red, to you and your family, our condolences from Paradise, Louisiana. And we'll be back next week. So tune us in with another guest host and another edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Louisiana, powered by Chevrolet, would also like to thank these sponsors. 